The UAW has an issue with the EPA vehicle emissions plan and the impact to the union workers is not making them happy. The Biden administration is being pulled in two different directions over the EPA's proposed vehicle emission targets and the UAW and the promises they made. Earlier this year, the agency revealed a plan to cut emissions by 56%, which would result in electric vehicles accounting for an estimated 67% of new car sales by 2032. The Alliance for Automotive Innovation, a lobbying group that represents the auto industry, called the proposal neither reasonable nor achievable, and the UAW is calling on the Biden administration to soften those rules because current production is weighted toward pickup trucks and SUVs, and it's worried that targets could hurt domestic production. Last year, nearly 60% of vehicles produced by the union members were trucks and SUVs. Before we dig in deeper, I want to remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. It's not just the UAW. Stellantis and Toyota and other manufacturers are blasting the Biden administration's plan to squelch auto pollution, saying it would compel aggressive and unrealistic sales of electric vehicles or EVs that strain critical mineral supplies. In comments filed with the federal government, the automakers warned that proposed emissions curbs for cars and light trucks are overly optimistic and discriminate against plug-in hybrid vehicles. You may remember that the auto industry and the UAW were 100% all in on electric vehicle transitioning, and now they don't like the change. Back to the United Auto Workers Union. On Friday, they called on the Biden administration to soften its proposed vehicle emissions cuts that would require 67% of new vehicles to be electric by 2032. The UAW, which represents workers at General Motors, Ford Motor Company, and Chrysler's parent company Stellantis, said that the Environmental Protection Agency proposed standards should be revised to better reflect the feasibility of compliance so that the projected adoption of zero emission vehicles is set to feasible levels and increases stringency more gradually and occurs over a greater period of time. The free market will decide what will sell and what doesn't. Your dollars should be the deciding factor, not government regulations. Now, the comments come before the UAW is set to open contract talks with Detroit's three automakers before current four-year contracts expire in September. This could put a wrench in car production if there's no agreements, and that will affect auto sales. The UAW said the EPA must recognize that current domestic auto assembly footprint is heavily weighted towards the profitability of light trucks and SUVs, and they are tasked with the funding with EV transition. Last year, nearly 60% of all vehicles produced by unionized automakers by the United States were pickups and SUVs. In quote, we fear the proposed standards are premature and risk the disruption of the market that will make the EV transition possible. The UAW said, we urge the EPA to continue to work with all key stakeholders to ensure the new rules do not disappropriately impact domestic union auto production. A group representing major automakers, including the Detroit Three, called for significantly softening requirements, calling the EPA proposal neither reasonable nor achievable. Toyota Motors on Friday called the EPA proposal stringent requirements extreme and outside historic norms. Last month, UAW President Sean Fain harshly criticized U.S. Energy Department plan to lend $9.2 billion to a joint venture of Ford and South Korea's SK to build their three U.S. battery plants. Fain called the loan a massive giveaway with, in quote, no consideration for wages, working conditions, union rights, or retirement security that would help create low paying jobs, adding, why is Joe Biden's administration facilitating this corporate greed with your taxpayer money? The UAW in May said it was not yet endorsing Biden for re-election, citing his electric vehicle policies. Auto jobs are a critical part of the US economy. This is far from the end of the story. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any additional questions or comments, I'm sure you will. I'll be happy to answer them. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, the book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.